If you're thinking about buying a home and you're in a more transitional stage of your life, should you buy the home that meets your needs today or should you buy a home that meets your future needs? This is a question that comes up a lot with people at different stages of their life. It's not necessarily just first time buyers or younger people, also older people trying to anticipate their future needs as it relates to maybe mobility or location. So this comes up a fair amount. And I have some thoughts on it. I've, you know, talked, talked through some scenarios with different people. And I think there's three questions to ask. And in our area, like it would be great if you could buy one house and it could work for the next year, the next 30 years. And some people do that and it works great. But some challenges that we have is that it's a high cost area. So buying more house than you need, especially if you're on the younger side of things, can just be cost prohibitive. And then also if you're trying to buy a house that meets several different future scenarios, that can really add to the search criteria and really reduce the number of options that exist. So the first question I recommend asking is, are my future needs imminent or are they a possibility? So is this something where this is a definite going to happen in the next 12 to 24 months? Is, or is this something where it'd be nice if it happened, it's a possibility, it could happen, two different things. The second is how accurately can I anticipate what those future needs are? And this is something particularly in the category of if people are considering having kids where I find they may not properly or they may not be able to anticipate their future needs and what their home may need to have. And then that's a question of, you know, is that further along in the future than you necessarily need to look at right now? The other question is, is this a home that you will be happy in if X, Y, Z doesn't happen? For example, are you looking to buy a house and in the suburbs because you're going to have kids and you want to make sure that, you know, it's inbounds for certain schools and that's, you know, in the five to 10 year range or you want to make sure that, you know, aging parents can visit. And so you wanna make sure that it doesn't have too many stairs, even though they can do stairs right now just fine. These are things where, you know, if you really want to make sure that everything will be possible, you will have no homes to look at. I'm sorry to say it. So we have to kind of get some clarity on what will really impact your day-to-day -day happiness and ability to live in a home comfortably. And then last but not least is really thinking about the exit strategy. Do you have a viable exit strategy if your plans change? So if you buy a house for your current needs and in three years, your needs are vastly different, this home will not work. Can you rent it out? Would you, would you be able to sell it and you know have the financially viable option? If the answer is yes, then I'd say, you know, really, you know what your needs are right now best. You know what is going to allow you to have a high quality of life right now. And I think that I err on the side of recommending buying the house that you need now, unless you are able to very clearly understand what those future needs are and that they are imminent. But there's no right or wrong approach. I encourage everyone to do what feels right to them. And yeah, this is just one of those things where it's worthwhile to think it through and really make conscious decisions um, to set yourself up for success.